Brandy, tell us about the fight card coming up. Fight card's amazing. We have three female fights. Um, these two ladies, Carolyn and Kelly, are making their MMA debut. This is World Fighting Federation 43. It's a rescheduled an event from last April when the pandemic hit. So we're going back up to Prescott Valley. How do we buy tickets? And what's the exact date and time of the event? The date is Friday, August 13th at Finlay Toyota Center in Prescott Valley. And the website is buyfighttickets.com. Both Henry Cejudo and now Brandon Moreno were fought in the WFF and became U uh, UFC champs. How does that feel knowing that uh, those guys started off with you got per before anything really? Yeah, it feels great. It feels great that in Arizona, a local promotion owned by a female can produce champions. So we've had over 20 fighters now signed to the UFC. Do you have any current people on the card today that you think maybe it could be UFC champs right now or Bellator or? Uh, yes, Moses Diaz. Um, he's fighting on this card as well. A lot of potential undefeated as a amateur, undefeated currently as a pro. So this will be a second pro fight. He's fighting out of the MMA lab. Nice. So who are um, some of the other, other fights on the card that we should be uh, looking forward to? Well, definitely all the females. I mean, I, <laughs> I am pro-female athlete. So um, they're, they're just getting their feet wet, though. So definitely um, keep an eye on them. Um, Chris O'Brien, I have my eyes on him, too. He's actually out of Carolyn's gym in, in Prescott Valley, Average Joe's MMA. <clears throat> he has a lot of potential, too. Yeah, um, he fights at amateur 145. He can also fight at 55. So I would keep my eyes uh, on him. Now to Carolyn, how long have you been training for? Or did I say uh, your name right? You said it right. Um, I've been training since 2012 in uh, Muay Thai. And I've been for the past three years transitioning and getting ready for MMA. What gym do you train out of? Average Joe's MMA in Prescott, Arizona. Who's your, uh, your head coach and who are some of your training partners? Yeah, uh, my head coach is John Potenza. Uh, and then my main training partners, I would say, is Chris O'Brien, Brooks Van Ness, um, Luke Parsons. He's a bare knuckle boxer. Nice. Uh, um, Zane Davis, Parker. I'm going to butcher his last name. We're just going to say Parker. <laughs> and then Edgar Saria. Nice. I've trained with uh, John a few times. And a couple of catch seminars, so you must have a pretty good gr ground game. Yeah, catch is definitely fun. I love it. <laughs> Do you have any sponsors or family and friends that you want to give a shout out to? I have a bunch of sponsors. Um, I'm sponsored by Team Reaper, NutriBio, Lifestyle Chiropractic, All Athletes Welcome, The Attic Bar. Um, I know I'm forgetting one. Uh, the Raven Cafe. Oops. So okay. that's it. How do you plan on beating your opponent over here? Um, I just, <laughs> I just plan on just bringing a really exciting fight and just being the best writer I can be. Um, my fight style itself just hypes it up rather than words. So I think you told me off the air that it was going to be an easy fight. I did not. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing. So is this your first MMA fight, or you have it? This is my first. I, I, this is my first MMA fight. Um, my first one was supposed to be back in April, but that got canceled because of COVID. Rescheduled. Yeah, rescheduled. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Now to you, Kelly, uh, how do you plan on beating her? Uh, you know, I, I try not to, uh, like, get caught in, in one certain way that I see a fight ending. And my answer is pretty much the same. I, wanna, I want it to be exciting. I want it to be entertaining. Um, I'm just, I'm really excited. I was on the same card in April that got rescheduled, so I've been dying to get into the cage for like a year and some change so uh i think it's gonna be 
a really exciting fight. I'm really excited. You train with some real good people at the Legion MMA. How long have you been training there for? And who are some of your training partners and coaches? Um, I've been training there for two years now. Um, my head coach is Mario Velez, and uh, he's built me from scratch as a striker. Uh, luckily, when I first got there, me and him were both in a position where, where we could work together for hours on end. Uh, doing privates and started adding more jujitsu into the game with uh, our jujitsu coach, Daniel Madrid. And he's just a wealth of knowledge of grappling. And of course he's got a few MMA fights under his belt. So he's a uh, awesome to spar with, not during the actual round, but afterwards it ends up being an awesome sparring round. But, uh, one of my training partners, Zarina Turi, she's actually fighting tonight in California, and uh, we give each other some really good rounds. And I've got a million amazing training partners. Justin Trigg has been helping me a lot. All different kind of body shapes, fighting styles. So it's been it's been a lot of fun. How long have you been training for, and, and does your family and friends support you fighting MMA? My uh, my parents at first, you know, were like you're. <laughs> what are you doing? you know like I was I think I want to think I want to actually start fighting and they were like oh, you okay you know very hesitant at first because I'm the I'm the only girl in my whole family so the <laughs> fact that, that I'm the one that's fighting is always funny to me but they're uh incredibly supportive my parents they live in North Carolina so I don't have any family here except my husband but everyone is incredibly supportive of uh, me fighting this is for carolyn and you uh what do you do when you're not fighting do you work work another job um i'm a hvac dispatcher up here in prescott valley arizona and then when i'm not fighting i'm pretty much living in the gym so either i'm training to fight or i'm just working out because if i don't do it i go crazy and how does your family and friends feel about you fighting at first, my mom was kind of hesitant, um, but she's my biggest supporter. But my dad disowned me um, for fighting. <laughs> Whatever, he's a loser. So, <laughs> so, but everybody else is pretty cool with it. My husband jokes around. He's like, don't piss me off or I get my wife after you. I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> so, Brandon... What was it like having um, the whole pandemic, not being able to have fans at the, uh, at the fights? Um, it was basically just a waiting pattern. Um, I was keeping my eyes on what was happening in professional sports throughout the country. And as a business owner, I had to made, make the right decision as to when uh, the perfect timing to have the event and, and all the pieces fell into place. And I'm a believer in right timing and things happening for a reason. And this feels right to have it August 13th. Awesome. Well, good luck to Kelly and Caroline and Brandy. Anything, anything else you guys want to share about the fights coming up? Oh, I don't really have anything else. <laughs> you, you guys have any smack talk to each other? You guys are too nice to each other. You guys are going to yeah, fight. I I'm, I'm I not really cool enough to, to smack talk at all. <laughs> I can't even... I can't even like hold a mean like in a stare down. I can't like like <laughs> mean like, smile the whole time. So, like, They're probably gonna hug each other. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like I right away. I'm like, oh, you're so cool. You know, I can't. I can't, even, I can't be like, I'm gonna beat your face in. You know, I can't do it. I just, I'm too nice for that. You know, I I just. I have fun every second. I'm I'm in the cage or I'm in the ring or I'm sparring. Like it's. Mm -hmm. It's it's a blast. <clears throat> that's good. You're both honest. You don't like those those fake people who do the fake trash talk and it looks fake. So that's good. You both you guys are being true to yourselves. It's just too much drama, and I just don't do drama. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, they're respectful and they're um, appreciating the sport, and because it is a sport, you know, you just go in there and you do your best, but you respect your opponent. And that's why I love having ladies on the card. Like we've got six of them. There's six ladies on this card. And I'm really, really excited. At least from me, from a fan's perspective, it seems like female fighters got more heart. 
like I don't know what it is. Just they're just tougher in general when it comes to fighting. Like they usually bring it more compared to guys. Like I don't think you know it's in training. Like a guy would get beat up once in sparring and might quit, but the women usually stay <laughs> stay longer. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> we have patience. <laughs> and then more culturable too, so which is good. Well, thank you all all so much. If anything else you guys want to say? No, I just, just say that. I appreciate MMA fight coverage having us on. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I'll see you at the fights. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.